Okay, with these problems, we're looking at linear inequalities. And in many ways, the algebraic algorithms work the same for both inequalities and equalities. But here, um, what I think you'll notice is that um, when you multiply or divide by a negative value, you switch the, value, the direction of the sign. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, here we have negative 4x plus 2 is greater than 10. Well, first I might subtract 2. From both, from both sides, and and this is you know just as I normally would do, um, you know in most balanced equations. So anyway, subtract two from both sides, and now we get negative four x is greater than eight. To solve it, we divide both sides by negative four, but that's where things get a little bit different. Now what's going to happen is instead of x being greater than eight, than um, two, negative two, we have x is less than negative two, and the idea is that. Um, and here you can have a little graph of the line. Here's x is negative 2, less than negative 2. Um, so here, I mean, for an answer, you pick negative 4 because that's in the solution set. Negative 2 is not. It's going to be less than that. But why switch this direction of the sign? For me, the, the easiest way to think about this is with a different example. If I said 3 is greater than 2, and then I multiply both sides by a negative 1, or multiply everything by a negative something, I would get negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, negative, uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. But now it's true. Well, now negative 2 is greater than negative 3. So in effect, essentially what we have here is 3 and 2. Here's 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. You know, if we start off with 3 being greater than 2, well, that's true, but when we multiply both by a negative value, they get put on the opposite side of the number line, right? So 2 gets placed here to negative 2, and 3 gets placed to negative 3. So essentially what happens there is that the greater absolute value, which is what the greater number is for the positive numbers, becomes the lesser number when you switch the sign because um, you know, the greater absolute value for negative 3 is it's further from 0, which means it's more negative or has a smaller value. And the same is true if I reverse it. If I went from negative 3 up to positive 3, or if I went from this inequality up to this one, by switching a number sign, I also switch the direction as well. So think about how value and absolute value are related to each other. And that's kind of what's happening there when you multiply or divide by a negative.